the things you're going to be asked to do in calculus, math 1500 with logarithms, is to expand or condense them. We're going to look at expanding logarithms in this lecture. People don't read carefully and they make a mistake. Look at these questions. We're starting with a single logarithm. And in each of them, I want you to change them to a sum or difference of logs. That means when you're done, you should have more than one logarithm. And if you think about property seven, I also want you to express all powers as factors. And we're going to do that last. So the last thing you're always going to do is take any powers and write them as factors. All right, do you have your properties sheet before you? You should, I hope you have it right beside you. Maybe you've written them out again so that you've practiced memorizing them. Let's look at question one here. We have multiplication. We know that using the properties, we can write this as a sum of logarithms. The base stays the same for each of these. And notice that I've taken that square root sign and written it as a power of one half. All I need to do now is take that power of one half and write it as a factor. One half multiplying log base A of x squared plus one. There is nothing else to be done here. That argument of x squared plus one is addition inside of a single log. I don't have a property for that. This is where we stop. Let's look at the next question. The first thing we notice is division. Why don't you use the property and write this as a difference of logarithms? We have our difference of logarithms. Now we notice we have two powers that can be written as factors. Why don't you finish this up? So again, there's nothing we can do with that x minus one in the argument. We don't have a property that simplifies or changes subtraction inside a single log. We'll come back and do more practice in the next lecture.